Hi, I'm Karen, and that's Jeremy. Welcome back to class. In our previous video on functional safety, we discussed the main factor behind safety, unacceptable risk. Today, we're gonna to review the three required pieces of any safety system and how they interoperate. That's right, today we're reviewing the safety triangle. Safe inputs, outputs, and logic. Safety triangle? Is that like the Bermuda Triangle? Ah, don't worry. Stick with me. You won't get lost. <laughs> wow, Jeremy, that is certainly a fancy hat you've got there. Thanks, Karen. Today we're talking about three points of safety. And that reminded me of that old German folk song. You know the one. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. Uh, <laughs> okay, no. First, I didn't know that song. And second, you realize that is not a three-point hat. Yeah, I know, but in reality, do <laughs> you have any idea how hard it is these days to find a three-pointed hat, let alone yeah, a German three-pointed hat? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, so I'll put it away. How's that? I don't want to be distracting. <laughs> That's better. Every safety system is comprised of three main elements. Safe inputs, safe logic, and safe outputs. If you don't have all three of these, you either don't have a full safety function, or you're relying on non-safety rated systems to run safety logic. Yeah. In most safety standards, the combination of these three elements will lead to the total risk reduction calculation necessary to determine if you've properly protected yourself against safety hazards within a system. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. In today's episode, we're only looking to show you some of the common types of safety inputs, logic, and outputs you could use in a safe application. Right, so let's start with safety inputs. For most machine applications, safety sensors are used to initiate the safety function, which is typically a power down or safe state off. There are a multitude of different safety applications, but some of the most common sensors are emergency stops and pull chains, door interlocks, light grids and laser scanners, and safety mats. Most of these sensors are used to ensure that no one is in a hazardous area by guarding the entrances, but emergency stops are unique as they are used when an unsafe situation has started or hazardous energy needs to be immediately stopped. Remember, you should always select the correct sensor based on industry standards for your application. Absolutely. Next, let's move on to safe output devices. Outputs are responsible for energizing and de-energizing equipment safely and reliably. These can be contactors, valves, hybrid motor starters, and solenoids, just to name a few. Sometimes it can be difficult or even impossible to have some of these output devices rated for safety. So in many applications, non-safe versions may be used redundantly to achieve proper risk reduction requirements. Advancements in technology have allowed safe outputs like this Contactron Pro hybrid motor starter to be directly connected to safe logic and used as a larger modular safety system. And finally, the glue that connects inputs and outputs together, safety logic. Ta-da! <laughs> safety logic devices control the safety function by monitoring both inputs and outputs. These logic devices ensure proper function and detect any errors from sensors or output devices. Yeah, safety logic comes in all shapes and sizes, from simple single function safety relays to distributed safe PLC controlled networks. Engineers can also use newer, scalable solutions to provide the right safety function for all types of systems, from a single e-stop safety relay to fully integrated factory automation. When it comes to safety, there are many ways to approach the input, output, and logic of the safety triangle. But you'll need to have all three for a complete safety solution. Inputs can sense or be engaged to initiate the safe function. Outputs are used to energize or de-energize your equipment safely and reliably. And Logic monitors both the inputs and outputs to ensure the safety system is running as intended. Now we've only touched on a few common examples of functional safety equipment. 
and new technological advancements, well, they're being developed all the time. So be sure to check in with your local experts here at Phoenix Contact to get the latest and greatest in safety technology. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a big old thumbs up below and interact with us in the comments section. Yeah, and it's a safe bet that we'll have more content coming your way. So don't forget to tap that subscribe button so you'll be alerted when all our Control Cabinet Classroom videos drop. So until then, giddy up. <laughs> my hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. We'll see you three next time. <laughs> it would not be my hat.